Dear Boomers, today's controversial topic is surrendering into the unknown. I listened to one of Joe Dispenza's lectures today, and that was what he was talking about. I guess the, the lecture happened last week, and um, he, Dr. Joe, was talking about surrendering into the unknown, and that means that we have to create a coherence between the heart and the brain, which is the way we create an atmosphere for the creation. So, so many people who are on YouTube and uh, who are trying to make go of a business on the internet or anywhere else, they are content creators. And we have to the more coherent our heart and our brain is, the more we love our creations. We love our creations. So the more we get into that love of our creations, the more the wheels turn away from matter to the quantum fields where so many great things are waiting for us. We, um, when we love our creations, we trust the outcome of what we are doing. To remedy this lack of what you want and what you want is not happening is to relax into the present moment where the unknown exists. You surrender the future to, um, keep, the dr to keep the dream alive. <clears throat> you have to have intentions to keep the dream alive through surrender. Now, um, I have been studying with uh, the Dr. Joe's lectures and his YouTube videos. You guys can look at his YouTube videos and really get a lot out of them. They're everywhere. Some of them seem to be artificially intelligence created, but even so, they stick to the main points. Um, you can't concern yourself with the outcome. The outcome is going to happen, and the more you surrender yourself away from thinking it's anything should happen a certain way, and you stay in that state through the breath, which brings you to the present moment, the present moment is where the unknown occurs. And then the great potential of your future through the breath will come to you magnetically. The heart is the ma magnetic center of the body. Now, you don't want to over surrender because you become lethargic. And we've always created matter to matter. We haven't really created from a state of not knowing, not knowing, um, I am nobody, I am nowhere. And, um, you know, that whole idea of being in the quantum field creates an energy that brings uh, through the, by the breath, through the heart to the brain, a coherence that is the greatest creator of all. So then we have dreams, but we can't arrive at our dreams as the same person that we've always been. So it's a, it is not only are we creating things on in business or creating things in our house or in our home, but we are creating our lives, our future. Um, and, you know, you get up from the meditation cushion and you don't want to be the same person either. You don't, you, you don't want to get up from the meditation cushion and get into that same doggy dog vibe that the world often does present to us. So when we are uncertain as to whether the future is going to come to us or not, and what, what is very important is not to have the concentration on outcome, we need to change um, who we are. And the uncertainty as to whether our creation will manifest creates doubt. And doubt is the big problem in creation. Um, our outcomes become a result of our efforts. 
And surrender is a fun function of believing in what you are creating. Surrender is a function of believing in what you are creating. You keep changing. You keep changing. Uh, and healing will occur. You have to remove the doubt, though. And opening the heart to receive surrender to the point of knowing. Now, this is interesting. He said that one of his um, workshop participants used that term, surrendering, until, until he knew. Surrendering until you know. He had a kidney mass that was uh, leaking fluid into the rest of his body and causing a cancerous condition that, that metastasized everywhere. Every day he did Dr. Joe's meditations um, for 13 months. And, um, and what I get from surrendering until you know, he keeps surrendering. You have to, it's a process. You keep surrendering. You keep a, a heart brain coherence going at all times. And at some point, you get to the other side and you surrender until you know. That's, that's fascinating to me. Um, so you have to surrender to your vision every day. And eventually, you're in a state of knowing. Let me repeat that. Surrender to your vision every day. And eventually, you are in a state of knowing. And you can just throw it all to the wind, you know, and all doubt disappears. In that state of nothing, pure consciousness, the pure consciousness of nothing, and surrender is when surrender happens. Um, surrender to the unknown is in itself a creative process. That is, you know, life is creative. The word create and the word breath are nearly almost the same. The breath is, is, the more alive you become through the breath, the more the creation starts becoming more dimensional in your life. Arriving into the unknown and you call into your life a new life as you become a new self. We, we want to create from the quantum field as opposed to the field of matter. So the quantum field is where the action is. Ha <laughs> ha. So, you know, you don't want to default to your old self after meditation. That's, uh, that's a, is something that you can recognize when it happens. So throughout the day, on and off the cushion, throughout the day, when you have those periods of doubt and fear as to whatever it might be. A lot of us in our boomer years are afraid of outliving our savings. And when, um, so you get off the cushion and all of a sudden those fears uh, come back and you're actually defaulting to your old self. We do not want to default to our old selves. We want to have a sense of faith in, in the unknown that will come, and, and in, in the universe, in the divine. Um, so we, we don't... Um, we don't want to become separate, separate from the potential of a new life. We want our new life to be the result of our surrender. The lack of not having what it is that you want is the catalyst to keep going, not give up, and not to succumb to the news that is very destructive, um, the, the mainstream news. And what is so important, too, is that the more you surrender, you have to ask yourself, is there more love that I can experience, that I can bring into my heart? Because the heart is the reservoir of love. I'm sure that there's more love that we can experience when we... When we um, work on that every day, every moment. We, um, 
live in the present moment where love exists, where forgiveness exists. And as soon as we go off into the past and worry about the future and have doubt about everything, all of this is a good time to realize that we need to love, find the love, and give that love and receive, let the universe uh, help us to surrender more. Check, check out the video that shows up here. Where is it? There it is. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.